Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now one of the first jobs I did on the car when I got it was change the brake pads and the brake discs. And it's one of the first jobs I did because that's what I'm most used to doing. I've changed brake pads and discs on cars many times before. So I went straight in on that. That was probably a mistake because the brake discs themselves are now, they've got surface rust on them so they need cleaning up again anyway. But with the subframe out of the car and the brake calipers off, um, it's probably a good opportunity to have a second look at these and tart them up a bit more. Now, the calipers themselves, there's a lot of surface rust about the place, particularly around the banjo bolt um, and um, various parts of it, in fact, all of it. So I'm going to strip it down, take it apart. One thing I won't be doing is changing the seals right now because they look to be in good condition. There's no tears or anything. The, the rubber itself is quite flexible so I'm going to leave these there wasn't leaking or anything like that but if you were to change the pistons and the seals you can buy these in a kit usually and it's it's better off leaving the caliper attached to the car because what you can do is you can keep pressing the brake pedal with the brake pads removed and pop the piston out that way you can use compressed air as well um, but I'll be leaving that for the moment at least uh, I think I'm going to go with a blue because I think it's going to go well with the the silver and give it a bit of an accent um, and I'll also be refurbishing some other bits and bobs at the same time. That being said, let's get into it. So I'm going to have a go using one of these preparation wheels uh, on an angle grinder. I used one, well I used a few of these on the subframe and it cleaned it up really really well so fingers crossed it has just as much luck with one of these. Right, so it's all back together. Now the one thing I didn't film is I did put a, a lacquer on top of the blue. On the tin it didn't say to use a lacquer at all, it just had to leave it, but it, it just felt a bit vulnerable somehow. So I did put another lacquer on top of that just to give it a bit more durability. Um, did spray down all the bolts uh, as well. So I reused those and um, they just had an etching primer and matte black on top of that um, to give that a little bit of help. Did do the ends of the brake hose as well the banjo bolt that had the same sort of treatment and um yeah so it's all back together and that should look much better on the car so in the next video i'm going to be announcing a winner of this ball joint separator um, so if you are interested in that then all you got to do is send me an email 
email will be in the description below just saying that you want to be in the draw and then we'll draw that in the next video which will all be about the wheel hubs i'm going to be doing the same sort of thing as i've done with the caliper to the hub cleaning that up and also replacing the the wheel bearings while i'm there it's a relatively cheap uh, swap out and i don't know what the condition is of the the old ones anyway so i might as well change them out while i'm there so join me for that one uh, it might be a week or two before that one comes out just because i'm going away but uh, yeah if you're interested in the ball joint separator splitter then do drop me an email and uh, i'll see you in the next one